Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here at the range today, doing a little bit of plinking. And we've got another challenge posted up by Eli over at Day at the Range, dayattherange.com. <clears throat> and uh, this is another uh, cool rimfire challenge that he's posted up for the, the month of May. And this one he's calling the All Guts, No Glory uh, challenge. We've got a target with uh, these bullseyes are pretty standard. They're very much like these, uh, uh, what do you call these? These are the American Rimfire Association targets. But uh, So we have three rows of targets, actually four. Uh, the first row are the standard size. So a hit in here is worth times one. These ones are some percentage smaller and these ones are worth times two, whatever your score is in that bullseye. And this last row is about half the size of these and it's worth times three. And then if you have any guts, <laughs> you'll go for these little bitty ones down here. And uh, they are very, very tiny. They are just a tiny bit bigger than the width of a single 22 bullet. But if you hit those at all, you get an extra 10 points added onto your score. But he threw a caveat in actually with any of these targets up here if you don't hit one of these targets or if you go for the bottom ones you don't have to if you go for the bottom ones and miss you'll lose all the points above and have to start over again and uh, actually uh, he did set a time limit on this of uh, 90 seconds uh, but uh, he did give us a, uh, tell us we could stop the timer, um, <clears throat> stop the timer when we are uh, reloading our magazines. Uh, I will have to do one, I have two magazines for this gun, so I will have to do at least one reload uh, to, if I'm going to go for those two bottom ones. Let me grab the other mag here. <clears throat> I've been, uh, so I broke out a little bit of uh, the good stuff. Uh, we're going to actually go for the gusto here. But I have uh, some Lapua Midas Plus. And I don't have too many rounds here to spare, but I have enough to, to do this challenge. So we're going to go ahead and uh, give it a try. One five round magazine, so I'll be I'll be one I'll be one round short if I do. I might just load a one as a single shot. I can do that with this rifle pretty easily. But uh, should be able to shoot 10, 11 shots in ninety seconds. I would think <laughs> pretty easily. See, I was shooting a different rifle here. I got to come up quite a bit here. There we are. Okay, so I was uh, helping some guys that were out here earlier to do a some sighting in. So I was actually focused at a hundred yards. <laughs> so, so actually, I'm gonna take a couple sighter shots. I have uh, one of those American Rimfire, just one target down there. I want to make sure. Nothing changed since I was uh, shooting this out to 100 yards. So I'll take a couple of ciders and then I'll reload that magazine and then we'll start the timer. Ooh, a little off to the, to the right, but that might just be a cold bore shot. I haven't shot this. This gun's been sitting for about 20 minutes now. All right. to the right there. Let me do... I did four clicks to the left. That should bring me over a little bit. <laughs> the 
These are eighth, eighth MOA clicks. So that would be like an eighth of an inch. All right, well. So I forgot to mention this is my this is my Anschutz model 64 MP and it is topped off with a Vector Optics Sentinel X Pro 10 to 40 Very nice scope. Uh, it's been raining all day and Got a little break in the weather, a little break in the uh, radar. So I hurry up, packed everything up and ran over here. Now it's all foggy out here, but at least it's, uh, at least it's not raining. So um, let me see here, am I oh, not even on 40? There we go, that's better. All right, all right, let's see. Let me find my timer. Is it? It's here somewhere. Watch. Okay, here we go. Um, so I want my stopwatch, do a reset, and get my mag loaded up. Range is hot, timer's running. All right, let's, uh, let's do good. Not getting tens. <laughs> First row is looking pretty good. Down to the second row. I guess I should just take my time here, huh? Oof, why is it flying around on me here? That's not good. To a minute. That's a good one. All right, now them smaller, the three three row here. Go for them little ones. All right, I got that one. So now I need to load one single shot. So he did say something about putting extra time on for having to load single shot. I don't know. But anyway, here we go. Why am I way off like that? All right. Got it. All right. So at least I got those 20 points. So uh, let me stop here. Let me grab that target and we'll add up those uh, scores and see how I did. Doesn't look like I did too bad. Definitely didn't clean it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks like I'll probably get a good score. So stand by. Alrighty, so I am back, and uh, <laughs> I actually double-checked while I was uh, walking down to get the target. I pulled up uh, Eli's email with the rules, because I was uh, thinking that 
90 seconds seemed a little bit a little bit fast uh, actually if you're lo if you have loaded mags and don't have to do a reload he said 190 seconds if you have to do a mag change you can add on or a mag if you have to do a mag change you add on another 20 seconds but if you uh, have to do a reload then you would stop the timer so anyway I did it well under the 190 seconds which would be three minutes and 10 seconds here's a picture of my timer two minutes and 35 seconds so I did pretty good I actually haven't even added it up yet I scored all the bullseyes but uh, <laughs> I forgot to bring out a pen or pencil with me so I'm actually using the tip of a bullet to uh, write on the scorecard here so uh, let me get my calculator up here and we'll add these up real quick and uh, <clears throat> so I had the first row I had all nines so that would be 18 or no 27 plus uh, the second row I had an 8 a 7 and a 10 so I had uh, so that's plus 16 plus 14 and plus 20 so I'm up to 77 so far the second row or the third row I had an 8 a 7 and a 7 so that is plus 24 plus 21 and plus 21 so I'm up to 143 now and I did hit the two uh, bonus targets so that would be plus 20 so I have a 163 out of a, out of a possible uh, 200 so I think that's pretty darn good. Uh, I, uh, I didn't chicken out on this one and uh, shy away from those little tiny bullseyes. So there you go. That is my entry for the uh, stock class. This is a completely stock unit. Uh, no, nothing done to it. Year 2000 Anschutz model 64 MP the brand new Vector Optics Sentinel X Pro. Pretty cool. Shooting Lapua Midas. I wish I could find more of that around. <laughs> there is not any to be found in my area, that's for sure. But uh, as you can see, it's uh, lights fading fast, so I'm going to get packed up and get on home. But go ahead and check out Day at the Range, dayattherange.com. Thanks, Eli, for putting up all these great challenges. And uh, really looking forward to Another great summer of cool challenges. So, hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.